so now we have next very important set and the name of that set is after the mathematician cantor so that's why it is known as a cantor set so let us try to define what will what is this cantor set is so i am i am starting with the a set a closed interval 0 1 so this is the interval closed interval 0 1 is there and we can so i am defining the set f1 as a closed interval 0 1 let us divide this closed interval 0 1 into three equal parts then what will be this points what is this point and what will be this this point if i want to divide this is with the three equal parts then this point will be 1 by 3 and this will be 2 by 3 this is 0 by 3 this will be 1 3 by 3 so that's why it will be three equal parts now what we will do will just remove the middle portion from this whole interval So the next interval, or the, in the next step, what we'll do is this will be zero one by three, and this will be two by three one. So what I have done, I just remove the middle portion from this, and then I'm defining a set F two, which is the union of zero one by three union. 2 by 3 1 in the next step what we'll do we'll divide this whole interval into nine equal parts if you divide this is with the nine equal part then this is will be 1 by 9 this will be 2 by 9 this is 3 by 9 so that's why it is next is a 4 by 9 5 by 9 Six by nine, so that is two by three. Then seven by nine, and eight by nine. So that portion will have also here. This is one by nine, two by nine. This is seven by nine, and eight by nine. In the next step, what we will do, we'll just remove this middle portion of this interval. So middle portion is one by nine, two by nine. I'm removing that portion from this interval. So that is zero to one by nine. This is two by nine to one by three. Then it is here. Also, we do the same thing. I'm removing the second portion from this two by three, seven by nine, eight by nine, one. So I'm defining F three now. F three is the union of this four four intervals. That is zero to one by nine. Union two by nine to one by three. Union two by three, seven by nine. Union eight by nine, one. And you proceed further. What will that means? What we will do in the next step? i will divide this interval into three equal parts 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 and remove the middle portion from that all right and then we will define the f4 which is the union of that interval then you proceed in that manner so that means you will have what you will have a sequence of this sub uh, sets which are the subsets of the closed interval 0 and there is one property of this set f all fn so you will have a sequence of a set fn and all this sets what is the property of this set will it be a closed set open set what you can say about each of this f1 f2 f3 fn in general to define like this a set of then what is the property of this set
yes it will be open set or it will be a closed set what is your thing for that what is your answer closed it is a closed why because finite union not finite union. this process we are doing infinitely many times so if n is very large, fn is the closed set now i am defining the set which is called the cantor set which is the f i am defining as f which is the intersection intersection of all this sets okay i am uh, done mistake na huh? yeah previous yeah uh this is the finite union because ultimately no yeah sorry this each fns are closed sets due to this is the union of finite closed sets so that's why this each fn is a closed due to finite union of closed sets is closed next what i will define a set each fn which is the intersection of all those set how many points this set f contains can somebody tell me so first of all first observation that you can just see that intersection of all these sets fn will contain zero because that will be remain same will also contains 1 by 9 which always con also contains 2 by 9 in all the sets and so on whatever the end points of this if you are dividing the next step whatever the end points are there all this end points well will be stay in this set f what you can say about this set f this set f is actually known as a cantor set this is the definition of a cantor set what you can say about this cantor set whether this cantor set is a closed set or open set or so, what so it is the arbitrary union of so intersection of closed set is there can running from one to infinity so that's why this is and close set it is the arbitrary in fact i should write down it is infinite union of sorry not union intersection of close sets because each fns are closed that we already discuss so that's why this f is the closed set and this is known as cantor set so what we have proved is a cantor set is a closed set now there are different properties of uh, cantor set you can discuss that means what are the boundary points of this cantor set what are the limit points of this cantor set what is the other property whether this cantor set is open or not what will be the interior of a cantor set what what will be this whether this cantor set is a countable set or uncountable set all this questions you can think for and you can try to give the answer for that i'm not giving you any of this answers but you can think for that you may think for 
usually in, when we have a physical class i mean i'm giving you the set to students and they are presenting a presentation on it the cantor set having this properties that means what are the limit points of cantor set whether it is a countable set whether it is an uncountable set whether it is an infinite set okay it is infinitely countable or what do you can think limit points to the set what will be the all the properties of cantor set i am giving you to student to present in the class so that also i am giving you here also if somebody want to discuss his property of cantor sets you or she can present in some of the day okay so that is the thing about the cantor set that i want to tell you here i have just given you introduction of a cantor set nothing else and i have proved that the cantor set is a closed set but other property 